the United States has a moral obligation uh, any time you see uh, humanitarian catastrophes. We are the most powerful nation on earth. We have the most stake in uh, creating a order in the world that uh, is stable and in which people have hope and opportunity. And when you see a genocide, whether it's in Rwanda or Bosnia or in uh, Darfur, that's a stain on all of us. That's a stain on our souls. We've got to have uh, a, a protective force on the ground. Uh, and it's now been authorized by the United Nations Security Council, but we have to push through any additional resistance that there may be. The United States has to make firm commitments in terms of uh, you know, the logistics and the transport and the equipping uh, of these troops to make sure that they're uh, actually effective on the ground. The second thing is I think the United States should follow through on the oil sanctions that uh, had already been teed up, but as yet the administration has not followed through on them and we should organize the European Union uh, and other countries to be a part of those sanctions. I, will, along with Sam Brownback, uh, was the first to call for uh, a robust hybrid peacekeeping force on the ground. Uh, I was uh, the first, along with Senator Brownback, to focus on ratcheting up sanctions and getting a U.S. envoy in there who was going to be serious. Uh, we worked uh, diligently to get the Darfur Peace and Accountability Act passed. Uh, and so I think the level of commitment uh, and the way that I've spoken out on this issue indicates uh, not only knowledge, uh, but also passion in bringing an end to this crisis. It, it's very encouraging uh, to see uh, activism based not on self-interest, but on a moral imperative. Uh, and it's especially uh, heartening to see young people engaged in, in expressing their idealism. Uh, through this movement. We can't say never again and then allow it to happen again. Uh, and as President of the United States, I don't intend uh, to uh, abandon people or turn uh, a blind eye to slaughter.